the particle info node, which you know from cycles, is now also available in Blender internal and thus also in GLSL preview rendering. Here I've set up a simple particle system. It uses this sphere, sphere here as a dupli object and the size is set to 0.1 with some randomness. Now, to make those particles colorful by the particle info node, we need to give or the dupli object a material, new, and then turn on use nodes. Now we need to select the material here again. And now we're ready to colorize our particles here using input particle info. First thing I'd like to show you with, because it's pretty simple, I plug location into color. And now you see that the particles are getting colorized based on their position in 3D space with X being red, Y being green and C being blue. We have the same thing for velocity and here you're seeing it a lot clearer and you also see all those black particles. Those are simply heading into negative directions on all axes and thus they are completely black. Angular velocity is not available for normal particle systems but only for points. That's why I'm gonna skip it. And for the other inputs I would like to use a converter color ramp and a converter math. And the idea is to get meaningful values between 0 and 1 and thus being able to colorize the particle based on the ramp. And for this, I will also create here a nice gradient. So let's start by size. You remember the size I have set to 0 0.1. So let me multiply it by 10. And now you see that the bigger ones that are turning towards yellow, which is in this case one, and the smaller ones are going towards blue, which means zero in this case. The next thing is age and lifetime, and those two are best used together because age is basically how long has a particle been in the scene in frames, and lifetime is how long can a particle exist until it dies, also in frames. So if I divide age by the maximum lifetime, divide, I will get a perfect gradient, right? like here from blue, just born, up until yellow, just dying. And index up here basically is the first particle gets index one, the one that's emitted second gets index two and so on. And since I'm having 100 particles in the scene, let me put index here and then divide it by the number of particles that is 100. And now you see a similar effect like the age by lifetime. So the ones that are emitted first are down here, they are blue. And the ones that have been emitted last up here, they are yellow. And now let me show you that this can both work if I do OpenGL render image. Now it's here. Or I could also do render render image in Blender internal. And it's working for both things. So. Pretty cool and pretty nice for real-time effects used like motion graphics.